We are just about 25 days away from the Winter Olympics that you'll see here on Channel 2. And tonight, three things that you need to know leading up to the games in China. Number one, we know who will be skating for Team USA next month. Ice dancer Caitlin Hawaiik of East Aurora made the team with her partner Jean-Luc Baker. They are Beijing bound after finishing third this weekend at the U.S. Figure Skating Championships. They're going to join American teams Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue, and then also Madison Chalk with her partner Evan Bates. Now this is the first Olympics for our local star. She and Baker were alternates back in 2018. At number two, the women's figure skating team, Alyssa Liu, Mariah Bell, and Karen Chen named to the three ladies spots. Bell, by the way, is the oldest U.S. women's national champion in 95 years, even though she's only 25. She will be the oldest American woman to compete in the Olympic singles since 1928. The U.S. hasn't won gold in the ladies' competition since Sarah Hughes way back in 2002. And the men's team is made up of Jason Brown, Nathan Chen, and Vincent Joe. Chen is a six-time U.S. champion and the gold medal favorite in Beijing. NBC News' Chanel Jones spoke with Chen about potential COVID concerns. Several figure skaters who have tested positive, dropped out of nationals. How comfortable do you feel, you know, about the safety precautions in place for all of you guys? I'm very confident in the USOPC. They're doing the best that they can to keep us safe. Um, and, you know, like I said, as much as I can, keep myself isolated and uh, limit, limit my interactions with people as much as I can over the next three weeks and just go from there. And we're hearing from one of Chen's teammates, Jason Brown. You may remember his appearance from Sochi eight years ago. He's known for his bubbly personality and also his ponytail, one of which will be missing when he makes his second Olympic appearance next month. Hi, I'm Jason Brown. I'm from Highland Park, Illinois, and I am a figure skater. This is where he comes alive. Triple axle, beautifully landed. There he goes. <laughs> You know what, it was so funny. When I first cut it, everyone was like, oh, it's the power in the hair, you know, it's that whole myth. And I cut it and I went straight to the rink. I tried all my jumps, I could land everything and I was at ease, but no, I have not looked back and I really do enjoy it. Fortunately, in the sport of figure skating, we get to travel the world. And it was in Japan, I really felt like when I started to try to speak a little Japanese, they were just so appreciative. I was so determined when I got home. I was like, okay, I'm gonna learn Japanese. I really, really wanna make an impact and be able to communicate with the fans there. And I've been doing it ever since. Minasan, konnichiwa. Do you have a favorite phrase in Japanese? Okay, this is just strange. So like my favorite like word is gomishushusha which is like a garbage truck man. I just like love how it sounds it, it's fun to say. Well, we look forward to watching Jason and all of Team USA when our Winter Olympics coverage begins in prime time on February 3rd, and then the opening ceremonies will air in prime time here on Channel 2 as well on February 4th.